CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 26 through 30. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 26. A company wants to migrate its infrastructure to a cloud-based model that allows multiple unrelated organizations to share resources while being managed entirely by a third-party provider. Which of the following deployment models would be best in this scenario? The answer is C. Public. A public cloud is a third-party managed cloud service where multiple unrelated organizations share the same infrastructure. It offers scalability, cost efficiency, and flexibility, making it a popular choice for businesses that do not require a dedicated environment. Unlike a community cloud, which is shared among organizations with common regulatory needs, a public cloud is available to any subscriber. Question 27. A company is expanding its office network and wants to enable communication between VLANs assigned to different departments. The network administrator decides to configure an SVI on a Layer 3 switch. Which of the following best describes an SVI in this scenario? The answer is A. A virtual interface that enables Layer 3 routing between VLANs. SVI, or Switch Virtual Interface, is a logical interface that allows Layer 3 switches to route traffic between VLANs without needing a separate router. By using an SVI, different departments on separate VLANs can communicate efficiently while maintaining network segmentation. This method reduces congestion and improves performance by keeping inter-VLAN traffic within the switch. Question 28. A network administrator is upgrading a company's wireless infrastructure. To minimize interference while deploying multiple access points in the 2.4 GHz band, which of the following sets of channels should be used to avoid overlap? The answer is B. 1, 6, and 11. In the 2.4 GHz wireless spectrum, channels overlap due to their frequency width, which can cause interference between nearby access points. The only three non-overlapping channels in the standard 20 MHz channel width are 1, 6, and 11. Using these non-overlapping channels ensures that adjacent access points do not interfere with each other, leading to a more stable and efficient wireless network. Question 29. Which of the following network cables transmits data by reflecting light within its core cladding boundary to support simultaneous data streams? The answer is D. Multimode. Multimode fiber optic cables have a larger core that supports multiple light paths traveling simultaneously. These signals reflect off the core cladding boundary at different angles, enabling high bandwidth transmission over shorter distances. This design makes multimode fiber ideal for high-speed connections in local networks, data centers, and campus environments. Question 30. A network administrator needs to monitor inbound traffic for potential attacks while ensuring network latency remains unaffected. Which of the following technologies would best meet this requirement? The answer is B. IBS. An IDS, or Intrusion Detection System, passively monitors network traffic identifying suspicious activity and logging security events without impacting the flow of data. Since an IDS operates out of band, it does not introduce latency, making it ideal for analyzing attack patterns while preserving network performance. Simply put, an IDS is designed for observation and alerting rather than real-time intervention. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.